how to define area of a segment. First of all, what is a segment? Do you learn what the sector of a circle is? It's like a slice of pizza, it looks like this. Then the seg segment is like a tip of your nail. So this part right here is a segment. So now you're looking for the area of a segment. What you will do is to find the area of the sector, the whole thing, subtract the triangle to get the area of this. So first review how to find the area of the sector first. So here when it's 90, how do you find the area of a sector? You do 90 divided by 360, which is the portion of this sector, and you multiply the area of a circle, which is pi r squared, which is here, radius is 12, 12 squared. So just leave pi as it is. So 90 divided by 360, when you simplify it, it's 1 fourth times 12 squared is 144 times pi. So what is 144? Let me double check 12 squared is 144 divided by 4. Gives you 36 pi unit squared. Okay, that's area of a sector. Now, how do you find the area of a segment? So area of a segment is the same thing, except you're excluding this triangle part. So it is the sector minus the triangle to get the area of a segment. So first find the area of the sector, which is again pi, it's 90. So 90 divided by 360, or if you already know it, it's one fourth of the triangle, I mean circle, times pi r squared, which is 10 squared. So it is one over four pi times 10 squared is 100. So 100 divided by four is 25 pi units squared. And what is the area of a triangle? This one is a right triangle, so it's very easy to find. It is area of a triangle. It's base times height. And then what do you do? Divide by two, which is 100. Divide by two, which is 50. So how do you find the area of a segment? It is the whole sector. 25 pi minus 50. If they ask you to write your answer in terms of pi or exact, this is what you will write. If you want the decimal answer, just plug it to the calculator. 24i pi minus 50 gives you 28 point. If you round it to the third, it's 5398. So 539 gets rounded up. So 540 units squared. That one was pretty easy because the area of the triangle was easy to find because it was right triangle. What if, I'll do one more with you for question F, what if it is 120? How do you find the area of this triangle? So again, let's first find the area of the sector, which is 120 divided by 360 this center angle out of 360, which is one third, times the area of the whole circle, pi r squared. So it is one third, 120 divided by 360 is one third, and 12 squared is 144, and pi, so let's see if it simplifies. 144 divided by three is 48, that's good. So it's 48 pi unit squared. And then we have to subtract the area of a triangle so let me redraw it. So it looks like this. This is 120, and this is 12. So if we use this as hypotenuse, then we can draw a triangle this way to find the height, then we get a right triangle, right? And then we can just double the area. So what do we need to do? We need to find the, find the height and the base. So here, if it's half of 120 now, this is 60. So if I, if I were to redraw this triangle, it, it looks like this. The half of it is 12 and 60, and this is 90. Then you can do multiple things. You can use the ratio, or you can use the SOCATOA. Let's actually use the SOCATOA, because we learned the trick, trick ratio earlier in geometry this year. 
So if this is 60 and this is theta, then let's find the adjacent first. So this is adjacent, hypotenuse, and our opposite. Which one goes with O and H? O and H goes with ka, right? So ka toa. So we have to use cosine of 60 degrees equals to A over H. A is A over H is 12. So then what do you do? When you cross multiply, you get A equals to 12 times cosine of 60. Make sure your mode is in degrees. Good. So, okay, what was it? It is 12 times cosine of 60 degrees, which is 6. So A is 6. So then you have to find the opposite, which is now O and H. So let's use sine. So sine of 60 equals to O over H. O, which is what we are looking for for the base. H is 12. So again, you can cross multiply. So 12 times sine of 60 equals to O. What is 12 sine of 60 equals to 10.392. 10.392. For opposite. So that means this is 10.392. So this whole base, we can double it, equals to 20.785. 20.785. And the height was 6. So now you can find the area of the triangle, which is base. 20 times 785 times the height. 6 divided by 2. So that times 6 divided by 2, so you get 62.354. 62.354 units squared. So are we done? No, we just find the area of this triangle. So what do we do? Now you do the whole thing, the whole sector minus the triangle, which is 48 pi. So the area of the sector was 48 pi minus 62.354. Sometimes they accept your answer in this term or just round it to all decimal. 48 pi minus 62.354 equals to 88.442. 88.442 units squared. It's rounded to that number. So then that's your final answer.